Hi, I'm Po Shen Lo. I'm a math professor here at Carnegie Mellon University, and I also run a startup company to teach everyone math and science at xpexpii.com. Hi, I'm Kwasi Kogel. I graduated from CMU in 2007, and one of my favorite times of year was always when the number pi was chalked all over campus, and that later inspired one of my art projects. I currently work um, as a freelance food stylist, event designer, passionate baker. I have a food blog called With the Grains, and I use that as a way to celebrate Pi Day each year. Right, Pi. Well, Pi can make me hungry when there's a, a pie <laughs> sitting here especially if I haven't had lunch yet. But actually what I find very fascinating about pi is that it can be used to show people how unusual numbers can be. Because for example, when we're small, we start counting. So we could say there are two plates. If I were to put two plates down, okay, well, the distance from this side to that side is like two. I mean, if this is one, that's two. Similarly with forks, I could say, well, if I were to put them side by side here, I just got two forks worth of distance. But these are very nice numbers. Mm -hmm. And actually, it turns out that you can get a very strange number very easily. And that's what piques so many people's imagination. Suppose I wanted to be an ant going all the way around and see how far that is compared to going straight across. You find that that ratio, the fraction, becomes something that you can't just write simply. It's not two. It's not even a simple number like square root of two. It's actually something called transcendental. And we see numbers like this written across, uh, across the decorations in schools all the time. And so I think it's one of these fascinating numbers that people can very easily explain, but then maybe it's a bit hard to wrap your head around <laughs> at the same time. But something else I like to say also is that this is the first thing that people think about when they think about pi. Uh -huh. But the amazing thing about pi is actually it comes in many other ways as well. Pi can appear in another area of mathematics where actually what you're doing is, maybe let me give an example this way. If you're saying I have a, a line of people, like 100 people, and I want to know how many different ways can I line up those people. This is a, a, a 100 factorial. It's like 100 with this exclamation point, which we often teach in Cobbin and Horrocks class here at CMU and many people see in high school. And so it turns out that you can approximate this with a formula, and that formula is called Stirling's approximation. It has a pi inside it as well. <laughs> so now that's, that's, a, that's like a, a, a way where pi appears when you're even thinking about how to rearrange people in a line. So you have this marvelous pi here. I'm curious, what got you into pi for pi day? Well, I was a CMU student and I looked forward to the tradition every year of the numbers being chalked all over campus. And then I graduated and went into the world and found that not everyone shared that same punny allegiance to, to Pi, but I did. So I did an art project called the Cutie Pie Project and my initials are QT and I made pies from all local ingredients and then I boxed them in little recipe boxes and delivered them via bicycle to homes with 314 addresses on Pi Day. So, Pi on Pi on Pi was the artist statement essentially. So, what exactly are we gonna do with this pie now? We're definitely gonna eat that pie. That's ah, the whole point. Yeah. This sounds great. Yeah. So how does this work? When you make this, this is, a, this is a very unique pie. It doesn't quite look like apple or cranberry. No. It looks something different. Yeah, it's a savory pie because I was inspired by Carnegie Mellon in Scotland and in the UK in general, I guess, there's a, a rich tradition of peasant food, all these hearty, comforting foods. And if you ever feel one of these really authentic meat pies, they are bulky. But I think baking and cooking should be fun and you should find inspiration and then riff off that. So it's a bunch of things mixed together for my Scottish interpretation. Excellent. It's great. always great to fuse education and entertainment and, well, even better is lunch. <laughs>